So I'm on the web page version of the Pluto TV app. I'm not sure if there's more on, say, the uh, plugin or the add-on apps. But we'll take a look here through here. So they have featured, they have sci-fi, they have NFL, fantasy football, things like this. They don't, with a lot of the sports, they don't necessarily show the live games because it is free. And there's, so there's not really a way of getting around that. But they show like the interview segments with a lot of the sports segments. But there's lots of programming on here. There's definitely, I don't know how many channels. It's hard to get a real count on the channels because the channels will be like here, 151, 708. I think that's because it's the featured category. But if I scroll down here to movies, which starts at channel 51, it has Pluto Spotlight Trespass. And it has a little description of the movie that's here. All the programs will have like your EPG guide. One thing I really like about Pluto TV is it has the EPG guide so you can navigate and find the show that you want if you want to do that. I like to use the analogy back in the 90s, I would go to the video store and spend an hour trying to pick out a VHS video to watch. Nowadays, you can go online and spend an hour trying to figure out what to watch. It's the same, so similar to that. So you got your, there's several movie channels and there's some good quality movies. And me being a, being a Gen Xer, I've seen a lot of movies that are from my generation, which I'm not seeing as much of as I'd like to on Netflix. So even though with these uh, movies, there is ads, which pays for the service. And that's uh, one thing I de definitely would want to emphasize that there is the ads, but you can still, um, if you want it for free, I mean, Hey, I mean, that's. Not too bad, but if you want to add free service, obviously just just pay for one. There's tons out there that you pay for, but if you want to save a few bucks and and you may not be watching TV all the time and you just want to sort of put something on the odd time, there's documentaries channel here, 80s Rewind showing Urban Cowboy movie channel, Paramount movie channel called The Italian Job, uh, CMT Westerns. Uh, so they have all categories of movies that you would want. Entertainment, there's TV Land Drama. I would assume would show old shows. Now, some of these channels, they'll sh they'll have the channel, but it will be the Pluto TV Viacom's version of that channel. I don't think it's like the same. You might not always get the same version of what you're getting on cable. Now, bear that in mind. They have AMC's The Walking Dead. And a lot of these, are, like, you'll see marathons. I can't fast forward the guide. I don't see, I haven't figured out where to do that, but just to see what's on there. And sometimes there's channels like this, Baywatch, and it's just Baywatch all the time of Baywatch channels. And uh, even some Canadian content, so the Degrassi, but it's not the the kids of the Grassy Street or the Degrassi Junior High. That's kind of what I grew up with. And then after a while, I, I, I never really watched <laughs> that. Pluto Love Stories, Making Mr. Right. Uh, that's kind of a John Malkovich playing a robot. <laughs> Great movie. I haven't seen that one in years. I, if, uh, if I had time to watch movies, I'd probably go watch that one. Love Stories. So showing movies, TV shows, Star Trek, The Next Generation. Kind of like what you get on Heroes and Icons on uh, broadcast TV. And I know Star Trek Next Generation is also on Netflix. Uh, British TV, Doc Martin, Nosy, lots of these shows. There's the Game Show, Central, and just showing channels and stuff like that. BET Pluto, Brotherly Love. A lot of this stuff's going to pass through, but I just want to show like the networks and the types of channels that you might see here. Uh, MTV Pluto, which is, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that's what's on MTV or if it's like, their version of it kind of like the canadian version of mtv which was really what felt like it was really watered down logo which uh shows reruns second you know um old shows but it looks like this is a movie et live uh for those who want to uh, follow entertainment tonight people tv i don't know i can't read that font complex now there's news and options and what I've noticed with these news channels is there's a lot of stuff that actually is free and you can go to all, like CBS's website and watch this channel or to uh, what would be CNN's website or Sky News's website or Newsmax TV's website and you'll see the show there. But they have uh, 
several news channels, uh, the election coverage, uh, it says election 2020, basically it's like a temporary theme channel, and then when the theme ends up, they just sort of, I guess, do away with it. They have their own channel called Pluto TV News, CBSN, CBSN New York and Los Angeles, CNN, the latest from CNN, I don't know if they show all of CNN on here, just top stories. Uh, NBC News Now, Weather Nation, and Sky News. It has Bloomberg Television, Chatter, which looks like it's maybe documentaries, CNET News, BNC, Top Stories Today, Newsmax, Blaze TV, America's Voice. <clears throat> now, I've, I've had people, uh, you know, they, they don't like CNN. And they want Fox News. People have contacted me about Orbi TV and they don't have Fox Fox News. I don't see it here either. But they do have it. If you are conservative and most uh, news outlets tend to be left-wing and liberal, there is a few conservative news channels on here, which would be Newsmax, The Blaze, which is uh, Glenn Beck's uh, channel, or America's Voice, which has... And AON, I believe that's a conservative channel too. And first, I have another Bill O'Reilly. And if you're on the left, there's the TYT. Um, all sorts of <laughs> stuff there. Uh, a category for reality shows. So there's a channel called Reality, My Five Wives, Storage Wars, stuff like that that you see there. Lives, uh, which shows. Escaping poly polygrammy. Uh, there's res a rescue 911 channel, and just showing rescue 911 continuously, uh, which some of these channels will do. I love reality with baseball wives. Love hip and hip hop, which I'm not, I'm not sure what that is. Leave it to Stevie on hip hop family. Black Ink Crew, and there's uh, Spike TV. Is our Spike Pluto showing American Pickers and Spike Outdoors showing Mountain Men. Now, Spike TV, American Pickers used to be on History Channel, but I guess I, I've actually seen those shows on some over the air networks. Like I see his uh, Pawn Stars on over the air broadcast now, so I guess it's been not just History Channel. Uh, Hell's Kitchen, which shows Hell's Kitchen. Uh, there's Survivor Channel, which shows Survivor. There's the Amazing Race Channel, which shows Amazing Race. There's the Challenge Channel, which shows the Challenge. There's Fear Factor, that shows Fear Factor. American Gladiators, which shows American Gladiators. Uh, I don't know if I can go to the information here and see. But just by this picture here, I'm thinking it is the American Gladiators that I saw back in the 90s. Yeah. There's a Wipeout Channel. And some of these programs may be older programming that they have. Viacom owns in a vault, you know, so that they have this huge library of content. So they're able to put it up here and have the ads and, and run the service to that's how they're making making money off this old content. I actually think it's uh, it's, a, it's actually a cool business idea to be an alternative to cable. Anyway, we'll get more into that later. Aldi, Aldi, We, Dallas Cowboys, Cheerleaders, there's Celebrity, there's MTV Dating, which is next, Parent Control, People Are Awesome Showcase. Uh, then there's like your crime shows that uh, seems to be a lot of them, especially like on the Ion Network and, uh, and places like that. Pluto TV, Crime and Drama, Cash TV, CSI, True Crimes, Cops. Uh, Forensic Files, Cold Case, The New Detectives, Unsolved Mysteries, Dog the Bounty Hunter, Mindstrom Ministries, Cor Court TV. So the crime stuff is, I guess there's a whole lot of crime. That's like, I got like two, maybe three over the air crime channels uh, with my TV antenna and on my free to air satellite. I think there's three of them are on a C band satellite still. Now there's comedy, lots of uh, comedy channels there's punked which shows punked the show there's ashton kushner i don't know if that shows new or old i know it was 10 over 15 years ago when that was on anyway tv land sitcoms they have married with children 
raising expectations slightly off by uh, IFC shows democracy now democracy see now documentary now sorry I, I misread that so it's showing documentary now not democracy now for a second I like democracy now is in the comedy section well I guess so I but no do, do, <laughs> documentary now maybe democracy now belongs there <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang. D, Laugh Out Loud. DL. Oh, and it went back to the guide. So there's TNA Wrestling. And I'm just going to go back to the guide. So one thing I'm finding here too is it doesn't show... The, the guide doesn't stay up forever. Like for someone like me, it takes forever to find something to watch. Reno 911. Stand Up. Comedy Central Stand Up. It shows like stand up comedy. Uh, you know, stuff. <laughs> Uh, stand up, Tosh O. And these are all like channels that show that show. America's Funniest Home Videos, Rift Rift Tracks, and Fail Army. Now the thing I like, and I'm I'm a fan of. It's no I'm no stranger that I, it's, that I'm a fan of it is classic TV. So there's a category here totally for classic TV. They have classic comedy with Flipper. I didn't realize Flipper was a comedy show. I but it's it's on classic comedy. Um, there also is Three's Company, which is a channel. There are several channels here that are basically sitcoms that are looped. you got Three's Company, Adam's Family, Johnny Carson, which would show old Carson shows, The Carol Burnett Show, Space Drama, which shows uh, Space 1999. If you like sci-fi, this is kind of cool. Look, I like seeing the early 70s computers that they would show on that. I thought that was pretty cool. The future looks like the 70s with reel-to-reel -reel tape computers. <laughs> in 1999 which is 20 years ago but this was made in the 70s it's kind of cool to see that the future looks like the 70s showing western and it's a western channel magnificent seven the real mccoys showing old, old westerns uh the rifleman there's a doctor who channel there's doc dark shadows there's buzzer which is actually a over-the-air tv channel which shows old game shows which is kind of fun Seeing that, seeing the old the celebrities that would be on the show before they became celebrities, shout out and classic tunes showing old. I don't know if Viacom owns the old Popeye the Sailor Man or if that is public domain. A whole lot of home DIY uh, shows. There is Food Network, America's Test Kitchen. There's Front Door. There's Dab Dabble, which is actually an over-the-air channel and on satellite. I've checked that out a little bit. Lively Place, which show has like a tiny house show. Uh, this old house. I wonder if it's showing like this old house from way back in the day. No, nah, these look like they're f fairly new or versions of this old house. I always thought that was like a uh, on PBS, but they have it here too. Antiques Road Show. So they do have a few shows that would be on PBS. Best Life. Weddings, Cats, Dogs, 24-7. So yeah, there's a couple of channels that show Cats and dogs 24 7 so the cats if i click on that and it'll it'll go to that you'll see the guide at the bottom if you want a full screen the uh the video you just you know like uh how you would have youtube or whatever or you can even like make it minimize it and surf facebook or whatever and have it in the background you just make it full screen by doing that i'm just gonna minimize that i'm gonna go back to the guide here so yeah there's a cats channel just showing cats videos no shortage of those on the internet. There is, I went back to that. There's dogs, there's Pet Collective, Faith TV, and TBN, and AWE Encore. Which I ha I'm surprised if they would have this, the DIY, oh, that's on DIY and home. Um, TBN being on satellite, but I'm, I'm surprised they haven't added channels like Positive TV. TV, which shows the, uh, it's an over-the-air channel and on satellite that shows the um, faith-based um, movies. In the explore category, you have history, but it's not history channel, it's history. Um, so I find in some ways this is not like, you know when you go to the grocery store and you want to buy Rice Krispies and you get crispy rice instead or no-name crisp cereal or something to that extent uh this is kind of what pluto tv is and i like that 
I, everything in my from the grocery store says no name on it, and I like that. If it's gonna save you money, go for it. And uh, they should have more of that. They should have this on free to air and just sell ads. Sea hunters, uh, military under siege. Bi biography, biography, showing old, uh, you know, biography films and biography documentaries. You have Cars Channel showing American Chopper, animals showing river monsters. There you go. You're gonna have the that and the ancient aliens. I think that logo says paranormal, so it would show like you know the ghost supernatural type of 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 documentaries. A science channel which shows wild transport. Bizarre food with Andrew Zimmern on Adventure TV. There's travel. There's Voyager documentaries. Weird or what? Chasey. There's NASA TV, which is, that's another channel, like NASA TV. You can go to nasa.gov and and stream that channel or get a C-band satellite and watch it on 127 West or watch it here, you know, or watch it on Cody. A Naturescape, in Awe of Nature, Loop, hot Happy Hour, Slow TV. Okay, now they have sports. And uh, so I'll go through CBS Sports. It's just showing highlights, I guess. Fox Sports. There's NFL. There's Major League Soccer. There is uh, Pluto Sports. There's Fight K1 K1, which is uh, kickboxing, I believe. Bell Tour MMA. Uh, there also is Impact Wrestling. There's not like the other wrestling promotions that have a channel there's no wwe but there is impact <laughs> and i like impact but it's it it's gone through its ups and downs it has its history there's no um all elite wrestling on here there's no tnt or usa network for wrestling um but they do have this and and imagine maybe on some of the other fight channels they might have like some of the independent not WWE wrestling promotions. Well, there's Stadium too, which is owned by Sinclair, and I believe Stadium shows Ring of Honor wrestling. So if I clicked on Stadium, here's how it would look like if you were to click it. You get this Pluto TV. I have the audio down right now, and it kind of does this whole loading thing when it says it's be right back, and then it will pop back into the uh, into the program. And sometimes it does take a second or two to uh, to load up. There, there, it took a second to go there, and, uh, anyway, that's what's on Stadium, it looks like some sort of a fight show. Oh, Shotgun Fights, part two, uh, there's Big Sky, Backcountry, Pursuit Up, there's Action Sports, there's Red Bull TV, there's WPT, there's, um, Gamer, Gaming and Anime category, after the explore category. So as you can see here too, with the way the channels are, I just want to point this out. You have channel 770 and then it goes to channel 801. I don't know if they why they do that. They don't have it all numbered, but they have like little gaps in, in there. So when you go to the bottom, it will look like channel 900. But there's actually not 900 channels on here. And I'm not going to sit here and count how many channels they have. There is quite a few, though. I'd lose count. Uh, there is quite a lot. But there's... Yes, yeah, so there's a few video gaming channels here. IGN, GameSpot, Minecraft TV. Didn't realize there was a channel. There's probably a lot of channels on here. I didn't realize there was a channel or a show to this uh, to this content. And I guess this is anime. No, I can't even pronounce that. So I'm, I apologize. You see it here, though. Uh, there's music. There's lots of music on here. I'm getting toward the end of the list. Uh, live music. Uh, there's like, it looks like, when it says Tom Petty here, I bet it's like a concert with Tom Petty. Let me click on that. And we'll see what uh, comes up. Yeah, and that came up pretty quick there. Like I've had other times where I clicked on a stream and it would would uh, take a second. Nah, this is like an MTV music video. I'm just going to minimize that so what it does is it takes you to a music video and now it's showing a commercial because i have my face over the um the actual video so yeah it just shows music videos of an of an artist i guess because they're viacom which owns mtv and has all that music video content 
uh, MTV Spanky New, MTV Biggest Pop, Yo MTV, Vivo Pop, uh, there's Hillsong, which is like a Christian music worship uh, uh, channel. It's actually, that one's on satellite. Uh, Pluto TV, we've updated our privacy uh, stuff, whatever. Uh, there's lots of Latino and Spanish stuff, which ha I would imagine would have a lot of content that would be in English, like movies and stuff like that translated. And then there's uh, kids programming, kids animation, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. I'm more of a fan myself. Uh, maybe Nickelodeon is more for older kids. I like PBS and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of Nickelodeon. I've seen some shows which are really... I don't want my kids to watch at all. Where they teach kids to be very disrespectful to adults. It's like, nah, they ain't watching that. So the kids section is at the bottom. Which would, have, would be channel 998. There it is. So when you go to Pluto.tv outside of the United States, like in Canada... You'll see this. So you'll sign up. You, you first have to sign up to see any content. I'll just quickly scroll through the guide and you'll notice. I'll go back up. So what you notice when you go to Pluto TV is the outside of the U.S. The library is a lot less. There's a lot less uh, content. Um, there's the news channels, which... You can get these anyway from their websites. They have their own channel. They have a comedy MST3K, which shows Mystery Science Theater. And they have the Exorcist 3. And they have a few Explore channels. And it's NASA, which you can get internationally anyway via, via the live stream. Nature Escape and Slow TV. And the Sports to Get Glory Kickboxing. Uh, not a whole lot of channels when you go in outside of the United States. With my uh, outside of the U.S. IP address, this is all I see for the on-demand library. So even less, no, there's nothing on the on-demand library. I'll show you how to fix that. And I got this plugin for ExpressVPN installed on my computer. What I do is I use a VPN to make my IP address look like I'm in the United States. So I go here and I have this add-on installed in Firefox. You can install it in Chrome. You can install it in your router. If you go to ExpressVPN, there'll be all sorts of instructions on how to do this. I have a link to ExpressVPN in the description of this video. So you can select your area. So you can say you're in Hong Kong, Canada, United States, United Kingdom, uh, U.S., New York, New Jersey, wherever you want to say which your IP address is so you can mask uh, wherever you are. Sometimes, too, you can use be in the U.S. and connect to Canada and get content that's free in Canada. Vice versa, it just uh, masks your IP address. So I'm going to say that I'm in what, New York City and I'm connected to New York. So if I go here to the on-demand library and refresh... So there's that library up. Uh, I can finish watching the short circuit movie that I was watching before. So basically you get in when you use your VPN service. And you can get in and watch all this content through Pluto TV outside of the United States. That's why I recommend to get a VPN. I do highly recommend ExpressVPN. It's the VPN that I use. It is a pay VPN. There is free VPNs out there, but you get what you pay for free. This one actually is well worth it with all the features that it comes with. I get the 12-month plan, which makes it about $8.32 a month. It also allows you to, when you're out with your cell phone and you use public Wi-Fi, it, it uh, encrypts your data, keeps your data secure while, if you are using public Wi-Fi. It also allows you to stream content, and it's very fast at streaming content through other services outside of the United States or to other countries that might have some geo-blocking measures so you can't see content in your country. So VP ExpressVPN is great. I have a link in the description below this video that you can click on. It is a referral link, so it will give me a small commission and help my channel out by if you uh, did subscribe to ExpressVPN and it would allow you to watch services like Pluto TV 
uh, without uh, being blocked. So this is a way of getting around it in if you're outside of the United States. ExpressVPN is a service that uh, works on all systems. You can use ExpressVPN with uh, any your computer, your home network, or on your Android device. There's apps that you can install. If you're using it for your whole network, you can install it on your router and just have it run on your net on your router. There's instructions over at ExpressVPN, and there are several tutorials on YouTube that will show you how to do that. I have one myself. I'll put it on the, the little thing up above here, above me, that will guide you to that, and I'll with a little tutorial on how to stream content outside of your country. Please check out freesatellitetv.net. And also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. So thank you for watching. If you haven't uh, seen me before, um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Robbie Strike. And uh, check out all my videos about other technologies such as cord cutting. Uh, free to air satellite if you're in the rural area and you have limited high speed internet and how you can set up one of these free to air systems to get free TV. I've done videos about how to do computer tutorials, about doing stuff in Linux and all sorts of really cool stuff like that. So please uh, check out the videos page on my YouTube channel which uh, has this list of all the videos that I have created. One of my most popular videos is this HDMI to coax video, which is really cool technology where you can take an HDMI cable and combine it with your over-the-air antenna and have your own private channel it mixed in with your cable with your over-the-air antenna or even with your cable uh, channels as well.